NAB 2019, welcome ladies and gentlemen. We have Marshall C620 PDC camera at our booth. Thank you Todd so much for giving it over to us for the show. It's hooked up with a PDC Fly and I want to show you some cool things about this. So if you don't know the PDC Fly, I'm gonna give you a quick tour. In this case, we have a camera selector um, and the Marshall camera is selected as camera one. We have no camera two and camera three in this case. Although you see a lot of robotic cameras, we have assigned them to other controllers in this case. But um, when you use this button, you get to presets and you can browse through uh, various presets that you can recall on the camera. So when I press these buttons, you will see the camera is moving around. Um, actually, now I'm continuously pushing this button. You see the output from the camera and the camera is moving. Yes. If I press the upper edge on this button, I get into cycling the menu parameters. So again, here notice how we put a great deal of effort into um, supporting uh, specific modes. So indoor, outdoor, white balance, one push, auto, auto white, uh, one push, white balance, and um, even all the way over to manual. And this is where things becomes really important because when you get to manual adjustment of parameters, you want to know what value ranges red and blue gain, for instance. Um, has on any given camera and that changes between Visca cameras believe it or not. So this is why Skyhawk controllers are so valuable for uh, as a generic controller for Visca cameras. We have brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, we have uh, limitation on speed for the PDC so if you want to turn down the, the max speed you can actually move the camera. Now you see I have full swing on the joystick and the camera is not moving any quicker than this. M uh, focus mode and uh, so if you go, it's currently auto, but if you go manual, you can adjust the focus using this knob. So now you see it's completely out of focus right there. And I can bring it into focus again, just like that. And then uh, I'm back at exposure mode, where of course you find the possibility of going into full manual, having iris, shutter speed and gain. Now, if I go back to this menu, there's something cool I want to show you for the show, because normally we have just a camera selector with five cameras on um, these buttons and then the shift menu key on the far right but in this case we decided to take two buttons and assign them to route the screens we see right here at the booth so if you look closely at the labels you see how valuable it is that you can actually um, when you assign different actions to a button it will tell you what it does so my front left screen will receive a, a route of the Marshall camera when I push this button and you see that's what's happening right now and now you can see that both these screens are apparently routed to the input from the Marshall camera so um, we would need to find something else front left so if I choose the output here and I take PDC optics for that and then no tech for that now you see completely different things on the screens the buttons are not lit up yet or, or anymore I press here I do the route so what is essentially the thing here? It shows you two things. It shows you that we can reconfigure a panel. So based on a default configuration, we changed it. So these two buttons are operating the smart video hub over here. Secondly, implicitly, it means that we are talking to more than just one device, a camera and a video hub. Isn't that cool? That's Skahoy in a nutshell.